so hello everyone in this video we look at the gibbs thompson effect or capillary effect so this is basically an interface effect uh, in the system and this is a topic which is mentioned in the gate metallurgy syllabus as well so consider the system uh, in which we have a beta precipitate in alpha matrix so interface interface phenomena can become extremely important in early stages of phase transformation when one phase beta can be present as a very fine particle in other phase that is alpha as shown in this figure if alpha is acted by the pressure of one atm that is atmospheric pressure the beta phase is subjected to have extra pressure delta p due to its curvature uh, shape at alpha beta interface so if we consider uh, gamma as the surface energy surface energy or interface energy then this delta p is given by 2 gamma upon r which is the radius of this precipitate so we know now we are interested to find the increase in uh, free energy due to this interface so this we know delta g is nothing but v dp minus s dt that is uh, the max duration for delta g so at constant uh, temperature this term slides to zero and therefore we have uh, by putting the value of delta p as 2 gamma by r so we get delta g as 2 gamma upon r okay so the gives free energy of this precipitate with radius r is uh, can be given as a sum of delta g with infinite uh, radius which is in the normal condition uh, plus this delta g gamma due to the curvature okay so i have done the graphical representation uh, of this free energies and let us uh, look at uh, what happens due to this increase in free energy but in every system the increase in free energy is dangerous because the system tries to lower its free energy but there are some uh, profits as well now let us look at that so uh, figure one and uh, figure two are simultaneously important for us so and delta g r beta represents uh, for this uh, second precipitate g infinity uh, beta is represented for this figure i will label it as one so if i draw the common tangents uh, between the free energy of alpha and this both so we know that uh, x infinity represent the equilibrium concentration of alpha with beta uh, and uh, the xr will be representing the uh, equilibrium concentration of uh, alpha with beta r so you know so here uh, xr is greater than x infinity and that means we have increase in solubility increase in solubility of increase in solubility of uh, b and so the range of solubility will increase due to this effect but uh, if we go on increase uh, this gr now this is a very dangerous situation because system will try to minimize its energy uh, so what will happen it will uh, get in engulfed by the bigger precipitates so as you will try to decrease the r make it more and more finer so it it can also get uh, eaten eaten by bigger precipitate and uh, this is all about the gibbs thompson effect so this is arising due to interface capillary effect